Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush, and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today, we're going to be continuing on our Eurovision 2024 series that will be going ahead in the city of Malmo, Sweden, on the 7th to the 11th of May. And we have our second song of today's Super Thursday. We have five songs in total coming out today. One has already come out from Switzerland that I've just looked at. That was from Nemo with the song Code. Didn't really expect today to start off so strong, but we have our second song of the day that has just been released and that is coming from the Netherlands. My fellow Dutchies, I, I love you guys so much in every single way. Genuinely one of my favorite countries, especially when it comes to junior Eurovision. I feel like you guys do it very, very well. However, in the adult contest, I feel like it's not been so strong in terms of your entries. Last year, of course, the Netherlands sent Burning Daylight and it did fail to qualify and came 13th place in the first semi. We've kind of gone on a downhill when it comes to the adult contest here. However, we did get the announcement that Just Klein was gonna go forward to represent Netherlands this year. I've heard he's a pretty big deal, but I have not heard any of his stuff before. So I am very excited to see what his song Euro Papa is like. He definitely has a look. Euro Papa is a tribute to my father. When bringing me up, he passed on to me an expansive view of the world. Okay, so deep meaning right here. Oh, he was a YouTuber. He was found there from 2010 to 2017, posting videos, but he seems to be also a part of the music industry since 2016. So he does have a background in this, and this already has 4.3 stars. I don't think I can physically take any more good quality songs in this contest. I think without further ado, we should get into this to see what the Netherlands has got to offer for Eurovision 2024. But before we do so, if you would like to see full unedited reactions, as well as some exclusive content, I will be uploading all of that on my members only, specifically for these videos that get copyrighted, as well as helping support me making these videos for you further. So if you click that join button down there, you will get to do that thank you to all these beautiful people that have already done so and if you're new here and love a bit of eurovision please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here that is very important clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you would like to follow me over on instagram it is nush 101 right clicking play new Hello Scooter. How many times do I say that? I'm, I'm sorry that I say that all the time, but we're getting a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, I know it's nine seconds in, but we're getting so many throwback early naughty sounds this year in national selections alone, let alone the songs that have been coming out. Literally, it sounds exactly like Scooter's beginning of his songs. Very much inspired. Oh, look at the windmill in the back. Oh, I love the mu music video here. Oh no. This is very Dutch. You know what I'm gonna say here? I don't need to really let this go on for any longer for me to say this. Windows 95 man, <laughs> you have a little bit of competition. I mean, we've got the retro vibe here. We've got the Euro dance. Very catchy thumping beat here. It's even got a catchy beginning with a Euro Papa, like, and he has a very strong look about him that I feel like already can stand out. Ay, yeah, yeah. I can't take this any longer. Oh my god, there's a dance too. Euro Papa. <laughs> yeah, now the piano house is here. Ooh. Oh, this is my year, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. I mean, he's definitely kept his. Dutch identity here and put it throughout the music video as well as as I said the music 
the Netherlands is known for very good, well, for creating some of the best electronic music in the world from GABA and all that stuff, hard, hard style music and everything like that. But also, you know, they were the pioneers for this kind of music. So the fact that we finally got some of that coming from you guys in Eurovision, I am very, very happy about. And so far, this is very much up my street, if that wasn't already obvious. How is he gonna sing that bit though? There's a lot of production on the vocals here. Oh, too early. Hard style. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> no, that's not it, is it? No. Because you've got another 15 seconds. Oh, this, this bit's nice. Oh wow, nice to end it off like that. You go from the high tempo to the low tempo. That's really lovely. I mean, sad, very sad, but artistic, dramatic, and probably one of the best Dutch entries I've seen in a very long time. Like, again, this is a personal taste. I know a lot of people like the slow stuff coming from the Netherlands. Um, obviously, Duncan Lawrence was insanely good and the right winner for that year but i've been waiting for so long for something like this from the netherlands it's so funny that i mentioned the hard style stuff because you have it in this song and i actually don't think you can compare too much now to windows 95 man because this is so dutch and that is so finnish yes they have a similar euro dance sound about it but now you've got this GABA music in there. It's so nostalgic for me, but also it's perfect for the Netherlands this year and especially in this contest. Like regardless, a lot of people I know are gonna compare this to Windows 95 Man. But if you know music and you know electronic music, I think you can justify that the two are very different and they both have different purposes. Actually, this song does have way more meaning than Windows 95 Man song has. That, that song does, doesn't have much behind it, that's okay. I love that song for what it is. This obviously with his father's background and his parents and the story there, like there is meaning behind it. So it does have everything in there. I love how he's paying homage to Eurovision as well. So when, if this is brought on stage with like the 12 points and like, he's pretty much saying like, I'm here to do really well at Eurovision slash win Eurovision. It's got comedy, it's got beat, it's got memorability. It really has everything. Now we are at a point, we have a lot of dance numbers, a lot. In fact, you can probably count on your hand how many ballads there are this year. So it does really worry me about that because I'm like, People are gonna vote for their favorite out of those. For me, that I predominantly listen to electronic music, it's not really a problem because I feel like I've just got a sea of really good songs this year that I'm gonna have a very good time with. And I know a lot of people are gonna have a very good time with this year. I'm saying that, but then like, we can't have every song going into the final. So it is a tricky one, but I know this song is in the second semi-final. So I don't think it has that much of a competition in terms of the style here right now. We haven't got Austria's song and I feel like that's gonna be a party song as well because it's called like We Will Rave. In this semi, I definitely think that this one is the strongest of this genre in there. And those that are voting for Windows 95 Man will do that in the first semi. And then this one, I think I'll definitely go for this one. When it comes to the final, that might be a little bit different. I think with this one, what it all comes down to is the staging. However, with youth's music video capabilities there, I feel like he's got potential to have a really great captivating performance put together. And we know Netherlands as well has got production value when it comes to staging. People are gonna really like this. I know that regardless. I'm not even gonna say right now if I think it's top 10 material because I think we've passed the point 
songs being so good that a lot of them could be there. And Malmo is going to be a hell of a party. I can't wait. I honestly can't. Like, how could it not be? It is the year to dance. Is there anything else to say? I don't think so. I could literally go on about this song for hours. I really could. But of course, that was just what I thought. I want to know what you thought of the Netherlands song for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Please let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna go and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.